the Lord impressed upon my heart just to share this word with someone. I know someone needs this word. I'll just read two scriptures quickly. Joshua chapter 5 verse 12 and Luke 22 verse 35 to 36. Joshua 5 12. And the manna ceased on the day after they had eaten some of the produce of the land. So that the Israelites no longer had manna. But they ate some of the produce of the land of Canaan during that year. And Luke 22 verse 35 to 36. This is Jesus speaking. And he said to them, When I sent you out without a money belt and provision bag and extra sandals, did you lack anything? They answered nothing. Then he said to them, But now he who has a money belt is to take it along and also his provision bag. And he who has no sword is to sell his coat and buy one. There are things that when they start off, they are easy. They happen. We don't struggle for certain things. They just fall into place. Then suddenly something changes and what was simple, what was easy is now surrounded by warfare, surrounded by effort, surrounded by hard work. And it's easy to begin to think that something is wrong, something demonic is happening, you messed up somewhere, and yet that's not the case. The Israelites were eating manna. It fell right out there in the camp, by the camp, and they would go out and get it and come back with it, sweatless receiving. But now they were told, you're going to have to go and harvest. Now from there, they had to, when they crossed the river, they had to go and harvest. And now they had to also start to plant and look after animals and so on. They had to grow their own food. What was happening easily now became something that had to happen with effort. The disciples, Jesus said, I sent you out two by two. You didn't have to carry any money. You didn't have to protect yourself. Everything that you needed came to you. Everything happened easily. Everything happened well. But now I'm telling you, you need to have the ability to raise finances for yourself. Now you need to have the wisdom to know how to protect yourself because you are stepping into another level. When we mature, at times we think what's happening is a negative, but it's a positive. It's God showing his confidence in you. Much the same way where we give our children chores. They don't like the chores. Life was nice before chores. But the chores are not a punishment. It's part of them maturing and it's an indication of the development that they have made up until that point. So them being given chores, them being given work to do is not a negative. Then we get to being adults. You always hear people crying about adulting. It's, it's not so easy. There's a lot of work, but the benefits are also great. I remember when I started out in ministry, I would just go to a place and people would just point at me and say, no, I'm not preaching. The Holy Spirit is telling me that guy over there is the one who is preaching. And then I would stand up and share the word. It was so easy getting opportunities to minister. Later on, I now had to start developing relationships. God grew the networks. God would give me favor with people. And I've had to work and maintain those relationships. This is what happens in real life, is that as we mature, God then exposes us to how things actually come to pass. They're not as simple or as easy as they may have seemed in the beginning. So I want to encourage you. Yes, suddenly things are not happening at the click of the finger. Suddenly things are not just falling into your lap. Suddenly you're not just bumping into opportunities, bumping into money. People are not just calling you anymore. It's not a sign that something is wrong. It's a sign that you have stepped up to the next level of maturity. Now you need to go for those things. The same way that Jesus told the disciples, now you must go for the purse. You must know how to have faith for finances. You must know how to do what's needed to get finances. Now you must know how to defend yourself. 
do things properly so that legally you are protected, mentally, emotionally, and so on. You are protected. So I want to encourage you, things are not wrong. They are right. You are maturing. You're getting to the next level. God is with you. Therefore, go out and take by force. Go out and put in the work. It's not a negative. It's a positive. You have reached another level of maturity. Amen.